what's good y'all it's your boy ross back at again with another video so we're gonna check out 10 iconic special moves and taunts that hyped up the fans one thing about a wrestler move set is when they have like a certain taunt or a certain type of gesture that gets the crowd going gets people hyped up it's, it's just a part of that that wrestlers overall like uh like their overall theme what they bring to the table like their overall like package i guess you can say pause <laughs> but you know it's it, it, it's it's all about the the appearance the theatrics it makes that person you know stand out from the rest you know so we're gonna check out some of these special moves uh that definitely get the the crowd going man appreciate all love and support let's get right into this one man one two is this on we all know how impactful a wrestler's finishing move can be when it comes to winning a match and getting over with the audience. And while the move itself is what pulls the trigger, the build-up and the taunting done beforehand helps load the gun. Mm -hmm. This can be a wrestler's way of powering up or simply just a unique thing they do that helps them in a match or entertains the audience. Now Randy Orton yep. is coiled. Lesnar's taken off the gloves. We'll highlight examples of both today as we look at 10 wrestlers with unique special abilities or signature taunts. Hogan hulks up. Hulk yep. Hogan channeled the energy of the crowd by no selling his opponent's punches. <laughs> Definitely no selling. <laughs> and as the fans' reaction grew stronger, Hogan would hulk up, yep. pointing his finger at the opponent, you. countering their offense, and firing back with some shots of his own. I, and I always, I like how the opponent would be just like stunned and shocked. Oh no! <laughs> From there, the Hulkster delivered a big boot before hitting his finisher, the, the leg atomic drop. leg drop. The atomic <laughs> leg drop. The audience knew whenever Hogan hulked up, he was now in control and the end was near. Uh -huh. <laughs> Love it, man. That angle pulls the straps down. Mm -hmm. Watch out! By Beautiful flow. Down the straps. Whenever Angle pulled the straps of his oh, singlet you know, down, about to get, he meant business. It's about to get As real. Meant the Angle Sam or the Angle Lock was on the way. Jerry Lawler used to drop the strap, and that meant here comes the fence. That's where I got it from. I stole from Jerry. Wow. Oh my God! Jesus! <laughs> oh, Perk Angle in his prom right here. <laughs> and if the straps coming off wasn't enough for Kurt, we would sometimes witness the rare instances in which he pulled the straps back up only to pull them down for a second time. This was typically Angle's last roll of the dice in a match, but once he did it, there was truly no <laughs> stopping him. Then he pulled it right back down. Undertaker sits up. Mm -hmm. Classic. Every time, love it. I love it. No matter how hard wrestlers tried, they could never keep The Undertaker down. Yep. You can't kill what's already dead, as the saying goes. Yep. And the dead man showed us this time after time throughout his illustrious career. Love it. <laughs> when Taker sat up, the crowd rose with him, while the other wrestlers in the ring looked on in fear. The Phenom regularly found creative ways to sit up by countering moves. Pump with a vice locked in. Here's a two count. <laughs> and see on Punk's face. Oh! <laughs> Look at this. Or by simply scaring his opponents. <laughs> oh no! How the hell did he kick out? Hey, chill, chill. to go for a cover here. <laughs> it's the gong, bro. <laughs> the only notable counter to the Undertaker's sit up came from The Rock while performing his signature People's Elbow. This is why The Rock. 
Rock's the GOAT. This is why the Rock's the GOAT. Everyone else freaked out. He's the only one <laughs> I'm taking a shot up. He kicked his ass. Sit your ass back down. <laughs> I love it. Sit your ass. <laughs> I love it. Shawn Michaels does a kip up. The heartbreaker's mm -hmm. incredible athleticism was on display every time he wrestled, but one of his most impressive feats was his ability to kip up yep. off the mat and spring back to his feet. Both these superstars and here are go. exhausted and down. Check this oh, out. Oh, is it vintage HBK? The lights are on Friday. Oh, <laughs> 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 Undertaker, sit up. Shawn Michaels. This Love is it. a staple of HBK's matches, as typically he would hit a flying forearm and then mm -hmm. lay on the mat whilst flat on his back. Sean would then do the kip up, which acted as an eventual setup to his diving elbow from the mm -hmm. top rope. And then following that, Michaels would tune up the band yep. for the sweet chin music. <laughs> the kip up is something a number of wrestlers have adopted over the years, mm -hmm. but it was Sean that did it the best. This is Shawn Michaels, and that is, that is <laughs> Randy Orton going crazy before hitting a DDT. Yeah. Randy Orton's draping DDT has been one of his signature moves for the past two decades. But in more recent times, he likes to have himself <laughs> he up before going hitting crazy. said move in a bit of a weird fashion. Bring your time, bro. <laughs> he just started going. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Did he just... <laughs> Wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. We got to go back. What the hell was that, Randy? <laughs> What the fuck? Bam! Yeah! yeah. Oh, explosive, but I'm big and I'm strong. I miss oh, Randy Dog. Randy Orton. Randy Orton is at 11 right now. What the fuck? It just works, though, as it further adds to his somewhat unhinged character. And you can always bet that the DDT will be followed by Michael Cole shouting Vintage, Vintage Orton. Orton. Vintage Orton. <laughs> Vintage, Vintage Orton. Orton. Booker T does the spinner Rooney. Oh, love Booker it. Booker T really came into his own as an entertainer whilst in the WWE, mm -hmm. and the spinner Rooney helped play a part in him getting over with the audience. Mm -hmm. I was a break dancer back in the day. I was practicing one day at the wrestling <laughs> school, and I did it, and it, and it just kind of stuck That's... as far as me having something different to yeah. do in the wrestling ring. Booker also used the spinner Rooney in WCW. Here he comes! That's awesome. That's so dope. But the dance became a much bigger deal once he came to the WWE. Mm -hmm. Fans couldn't wait to see the Spinner Rooney in yep. action. Love it. <laughs> Every it time. It became so popular that <laughs> other wrestlers began Fucking to imitate it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <look at> <laughs> oh my God. What? <laughs> oh my oh. Christian. Hey, The Rock had the best one. For someone to do it outside of Booker T, once again, The Rock showing why he's the great one. That was actually, The Rock doing his was actually probably the best looking one outside of Booker T. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> ah! wasn't that bad either for someone that big. <laughs> However, no one was able to do it quite like Booker. I love it. Batista shakes the ropes. Batista would love to end mm -hmm. his matches by first hitting a spine buster. Then he would get up, shake the ropes a la Ultimate Warrior yep. before giving his opponent the thumbs down gesture that he famously gave when turning on Triple H and Ric Flair. This worked the crowd into a frenzy and mm -hmm. usually resulted in him finishing his opponent off with a Batista bomb for the win. This guy's a freak, man. The fake thumbs down. Check this out. The power, bro. Mankind uses socko. A wrestler reaching into their pants it's and pulling out a stinking, smelly sock that's might not cold, seem bro. like it would be an effective <laughs> setup for a finishing move, but that's the audience me. reacted so well to Mr. Socko that Mick Foley began to use it any time he worked either under his real name or as Mankind. Yeah. Socko was only meant to be a one-time gag, but the power of the fans meant that Socko mm -hmm. became a regular part of Mick Foley's character. And when the socks started getting over bigger than I was, I thought, why not just uh, take the, the mandible claw yes. that's already a uh, force to be reckoned with and put Socko. a sweat sock on it. <laughs> no way, you can't do that. That was cold with the, the barbed wire. We even got a spin-off of Socko when Foley tagged with The Rock. You ready? Smell what the rock is cooking. 
know your own. Sting no sells. Sting had a unique ability he used in matches that allowed him to no sell moves as if nothing had happened. Stinger would then beat his chest and taunt his opponent for more. No. Oh. Definitely should have let Sting win that match. Up. His first WrestleMania match. That's just my player who gets up. No effect on that vertical suplex takeover by Hogan. He had a special <laughs> connection with the audience, which was on show whenever he no sold opponents' offense, as the fans reacted positively every time. Kevin, you oh, he absorbed the super kick. He absorbed the super kick. Oh, I'm through the table. By <laughs> <two points. laughs> he just gets right back up. up. The people's elbow. <laughs> The Love Rock has won numerous elbow. championships with his patented elbow, yep. and it is perhaps the most iconic feature of his character, Facts. which all began as an inside joke. It was initially conceived in an attempt to make Undertaker break character, and while Undertaker didn't crack, The Rock continued to perfect the move over the oh, years wow. with the inclusion of the elbow pad and an increase in the overall theatrics. The people's elbow! Oh, wow! Oh, so it started as just a joke, just to see if he could make the Undertaker crack, and Undertaker being the Undertaker, <laughs> not breaking breaking K -Pabe. Oh, no! <laughs> The Rock has since showcased modified Love the ones with the shoes, such as the People's the, Gliding Elbow. The, yeah, and, with the dress shoes, that that was that was smooth, man. The Nature Boy Elbow Drop on Ric Flair at WrestleMania 20. <laughs> <laughs> Jerry the King Lawler also played his part in the build-up, frequently labeling it as the most electrifying move in all of sports entertainment. Mm -hmm. The most electrifying move in all of entertainment. Oh, the people's elbow. You can't do it. The most electrifying move in all of sports entertainment. With the people's elbow. All this build-up led to a simple elbow becoming one of the greatest finishers in wrestling. Mm -hmm. oh, Throw that armband into the crowd. <laughs> 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 Hey, shout out to all the people out there. I hope like the ones that were that caught the the elbow pad. I wonder if y'all still have them to this day, man. If you do have them, that's awesome, bro. That's that's a that's a part of wrestling history. You have the Rock's elbow pad from a live event. It's part of wrestling history, man. And that brings us to the end of this video. Which other rest of special moves do you want to see in a future video? This was great, man. This was great. This was fantastic, bro. I, I enjoyed this video a lot. Y'all go give wrestling flashback some love. Just like the video. Uh, this was fantastic, bro. Wrestling flashback. Uh, his his uh, his his videos are are, are very informative, and it, it just it just brings you back down to uh you know well brings you back down memory lane so i appreciate these vids man but yo this was a great one comment down below let me know some other iconic special moves and taunts that you enjoyed from wrestlers and it doesn't have to be wwe it can be wcw aew let me know down below but i appreciate all the love and support you guys are showing on the channel uh road to 150k and i am still your undisputed youtube wrestling champion of the world appreciate y'all kicking with me see y'all next one peace